Hi Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines. Welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. So let's see. Whilst I was kind of meditating or whatever you want to call it on the energies, whatever, rah rahs, there was a stillness, a calmness. It's like what I'm feeling from your person is that they want to change it well I no, no, I've got to think of a different way of saying it they're saying hold on I can't think of one so it's not as hardcore as this but it's like changing the fight they don't want to fight with you anymore so they're fighting against they're fighting for you and because normally what they try to do is keep over there calm and still but then they fight against you because you're against what is something against them if that makes sense like because of they're doing something unf unfair to you because they're treated unfair which is what most people do which most of you is why you're twin flame you look at your person and you judge them and you say this and that but they're a reflection of you just a different outcome as i said yesterday so you're they're they're looking at there it's kind of a flip if you're learning that oh my gosh my person turns up um always lying then you're recognizing that you're lying to yourself about a situation instead of saying to your person for fuck's sake you're always lying to me da, da, da. if there's a waking up within you the judgment card that you are a lie you're lying to yourself why you've attracted a liar then they're recognizing that the, the, um, they lie because of their family always lie something like that is what I'm picking up so this is changing into a more calm stillness with you they're switching it it's like hey I'm fighting against this person but this person is all right these ones are the ones that are do you see what I mean but that only works if you work on self you always think well I'm not a, for example you think well I don't lie i pretty much saw the truth but you're lying to yourself you lot always want to pinpoint the specific situations when you're with your person we're not any it's not even about your person twin flames are here to get to the heart of the matter when you go into the heart when you're dealing with someone right that's why i'm so fresh and rude and judging and well you i don't judge you lot judge me right because you're not supposed to judge me the end of the day you're supposed to see my heart is that i want you lot to be as abundant as me that's it you lot oh well she's so fresh she's always swearing and did it not all of you but do you see what i mean that's why they chose me because most of you think you wouldn't swear i oh uh, i mean that someone who is really nice and who doesn't swear namaste peace and love is more loving than me but i don't say that much to be fair <laughs> but I always have the best intentions for because um, I want once you get to my level most people want the same as one most rich mentality and I hate this rich poor but I don't know how else to say it the rich want what um, are so happy that they what they have they want everyone to have it but the difference is is the poor make excuses the rich don't you have to work hard at it that was yesterday so I don't want to go down that road again so let's see what else so i'm feeling what else as well there's something there's something like um they're recognizing a stubbornness within them for example you can't tell them anything <laughs> right and they're recognizing how that's fucking them over it's like oh yeah well for example you might have pointed out a situation over there with their person and they're like you can't tell me what to do but if they listened this would have ended but it's all divine timing so let's see what's going on with your person uh well with you guys really so there's a switch around but it also depends on you also they're feeling they're losing you as well so that's why there's changes as well oops hold on So. right let's see what's happening it 
It's like they're defending people that they don't even make them as happy as you. Before you came, if you're doing the work, if you're shutting your mouth, if you're just enjoying them, they, that's why they leave that third party. That's why they leave drugs. That's why they leave this situation. Not complete with, well, they try to cut down or cut down. Right? If they're doing drugs, if they're a nightmare, if they're angry, it's from a situation over there. Such as you. Such as you. You are aligned with that person. Get into that heart space. Right? They're recognising they're having a battle with you against people who don't really care as much as you. Something like that is what I'm feeling. Okay. I, I put up a video. Hold on. Let me see what the name of it is. Twin Flame Starseed Career Tower Reading from Heidi. Heidi's channel is Infinite Twin on the subscription list. Or type in Infinite Twin if you like that video. Normally I got get to edit things and the video to say please don't subscribe and like and comment here didn't get to do it on that video so if you like her she has obviously she does tower reading and or if you go to the community tab she's actually doing a free giveaway so um, <coughs> a free tower reading giveaway and obviously if you get into mission or you hear how gangster and hardcore and how I push you here I push mission people far more I want them to be successful. If they commit to mission, I get they get regular videos. In fact, I might do one today, mission group, and <clears throat> weekend readings. I give them so I can uh, target a small amount to see what they're doing. My point is, if you get a tower reading from someone on the subscription list, they're gangster. So um, she's giving it away. So infinite twin. So anyway, let's jump in. Ace of Pentacles. It's like I was saying, like, you know, the energies and blah, blah, blahs, right? It's like they're feeling like their stability, right, should be focused towards the flame now. Do you see? There's an element of you lot, look, feeling left out in the cold, feeling left out in the cold. So some of you are pulling back. Hopefully you're pulling back because you're doing the work, uh, not because of, oh, you're a fucking idiot, right? Because basically your twin is you, so you're cussing yourself. You're supposed to be loving yourself. That's another reason what you lot don't understand why it don't work. If you cuss off your person, constantly cuss off your person, you're cussing yourself. This planet's frequency is love with oneself. Hence, it's vicious circle. So this is about understanding and ex taking responsibility for their actions is what I'm feeling. But like I say, I'm repeating myself here, you have to take responsibility. You've attracted that person with that situation into your life. The difference what happens with your twin flame is that generally they change. Everything else should slide. If family in that, I'll be honest and in your face and I'll give you truths up in here. Generally they kind of fade away or go, friends and family. Very rare they stay aligned with you. I'm not saying that's never. But your friends and family in a belief system such as you of lack, that you get it on a plate. Do you see what I mean? You think working hard, working hard is a different version of working hard from the rich and famous. I tell you, it's far harder, right? But you want it like, oh, well, I want to see my friends, I want to see my family and I want to work hard. The rich know that you've just got to work hard, right? When you're there, you then make the choice to see your friends and family, but you love what you're working hard at, so you don't get to see them anyway. Your friends and family should respect that. Most they don't, so that's why you lose them. This is understanding that um, it's a gift to... Um, it's been handed to you. I said this yesterday. N no one doesn't get this, right? You get the... Uh, you all, every... Um, human is built with intuition doesn't matter if you're busted leg you're born without a leg arms or something like that right you have intuition internal compass all that chakras 
you align those. Even I've done chakra alignment in my master program. And I'm like, what? I don't do chakras. You ever hear me say about chakras? No. But they told me, aligning the chakras. The ones in the internal. Some people say there's 12 chakras. There's more. I've asked them a lot. They're like, mm. Well, they didn't know, mm, but I'm like, mm. But my point is, chakras, chakras is just simply this focal point of where the the planets align. For example, Saturn is the lower root chakra. Do you see what I mean? They just kind of, uh, uh, Saturn is about um, sexual urges, s sexual abuse. So the sexual parts are the lower track chakras and uh, the masculines have more of the sexual urges within them so it's the lower parts that's why it's the base chakra do you see but that's quite normal the base is connected with Malkuth which is planet earth most people on planet earth should enjoy that sexual desire because it's natural Illuminati that twist it you see so it's not really chakras it's just a kind of a because, I don't know, it's just like a, 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 a point of attention to work on, you know, that kind of thing. Some people get cancer in their, you know, parts, pros, prostate cancer my dad died of. Do you see what I mean? Um, so it's a focal point more than an actuality. Talking of chakras, we're talking about this card here, sexual energy. Interesting. Back on track. So it's more like understanding is a gift that's been handed to you, uh, hence me, about how to get your foundations up, right? But you have to really commit. And uh, commitment is like emotionally investing with the water. And this is all the alchemical elements. You can manifest every... every um, Earth, every element, I told her to put all elements in it, earth, air, water, fire. So ace of cups, ace of swords, blah, blah, she, I told her to make the cards with all the earth, air, water and fire within it. So you manifest all your foundation, right? The ace of swords here, right? By cutting out or speaking in your truth, rah, rah. See, this has all the alchemical elements in it as well earth air water and fire can you see see i told her to make that so you understand you manifest this and stop getting left out in the in the cold with this center one from belief systems tree rooted belief systems change that rooted belief system it's like i said at the beginning which you don't understand there's mirrors in life right and it's like like i said if you get someone who's lying to you you're lying to yourself they wake up to who made me lie oh my family are liars Ex example right um noel i remember her she was saying oh my family were uh, are liars and then i felt i'd done a, a reading with her i was like uh, so are you <laughs> anyway if you know her i don't care what she says my point is this is changing that belief system to the tree of life that's why I got the trees, because it's rooted, family tree, rah rahs, change it to the tree of life. Stop feeling left out in the cold, do you see? This represents Mercury, so this is about um, communicating your truths. So some of you have spoken your truths to your person, and, um, and what I'm feeling is, well, it's like you've come to the point, as you worked on yourself, you're working on your stability, you're getting your pentacles up, this could be mission and you actually speak in your truth to your twin flame and you're not caring about what well, you do care but you're like oh if I get left out in the cold I'll get left out in the cold there's a kind of uh, difference here generally you say your truth and you get left out in the cold right when you get to the point where you're like okay I've got to say it and if this ends or he ghosts me then it is then it shall be if it's the other way around you've done it from reacting from reptilian from belief system from ego if it's the tree of life way then it's onto the correct path right you're changing and you're speaking your truths about your twin flame to your twin flame and being a true twin flame ace of pentacles new beginning in a stability and um, in your truth your you know what you want out of life 
the science card this is about you're not happy about it but you might be speaking your truth like i said to push this forward right holding um this to me she's letting go of this comfort blanket depends how you do the reading you're either holding on to it but she's like letting it go and loving herself not that happy eyes are closed going within right getting ready to push forward i'm feeling with this once again you lot don't know this is happening but this is leading to commitment with your person if you're doing it this way if you're not i don't know how many times i'm going to say it you need to be getting into mission twin flames are here not to get with their person if that was right then you'll just be a soulmate that is vanity that is complete vanity to think that oh i've got such a special connection over you lot soulmates no we're not here for that we're here to change planet earth that's what we're here for so what if you do it this way my my readings are the uh, what is happening or the suggested outcome right if you do the work this is connected to sexual energy you lot most of you lot and out there complain when your person comes around and have sex most masculines are the height are heightened sexually with this sexual en en energy it calms them you see tames the beast <laughs> right sexual energy this is the strength card this is the uh, lamaskate as well uh, that's why in my program next year i'm getting guided to complete the sexual i've got a sex program with two folders i might go out depends i'm getting guided next year i've got another sex program but i have to completely re-go over that one so i'm getting guided to release that but i would only release it to people who do like like keisha hi keisha um who does um if you've had sexual abuse most of you should be connected to Keisha. She's got a, a sexual abuse like um, support. You lot just think you just get your person. It's ridiculous. Most of you treat it like a soulmate. This planet is about what you invest in. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles is planting your seed. You don't just go for your wishes. You, it's like as if you wanted to be a fireman. You don't just walk into the fire station. Oh, I don't want to be a fireman. Do you? man or woman no you must know you if to invest in your wishes and desires your person here right you have to work at it that's why seven to the eight of pentacles an eight of pentacles isn't light work three of pentacles is like kind of working as a team figuring out what you want to do to the fucking eight is hardcore hardcore work working hard at it right this is connected with you to um see she's merging into the lion kind of thing right and understanding that um you're taming them and getting them to align the chakras during the sex that's why i was talking about my folder i'm going to create um next year i'm going to um, work on releasing the second part of it because keisha does a uh, an email support group for people who have sexual abuse most twin flames including the masculines that have some form of sexual abuse not all of you obviously but a lot of you so join that there's no point just booking me and getting the thing you have to you have to i had look at me miss hardcore i had about eight to ten sessions of um counseling yes me so look this is about that working on that if um you lot have had that and cutting out the old way of doing things as well some of you i'm feeling as well i was feeling about cut it's a like um oh that's connected to this road like i said and a proper cutting out of the twin flame which you don't want to do you're not happy about doing it but you're fed up or feeling out in the cold for the situation maybe you're fed up with them coming around for the sex but like i said if you had the sex program then you will know that's how you align your chakras and how they align their chakras if you're not having sex with your person well first of all you're not close enough and you're not doing the work for them to come around to have sex with you and secondly you don't understand the pool is with us the feminines right is we think about them we emotionally always thinking about them the romantic way your person doesn't get the pool until they their pool is in their version of sex 
they come to you because of what they do all this cheating and this malarkey going on out there is because they're trying to get this sexual connection they only have it with their twin flame so when they find you what happens is they're like ah found the sexual connection right twin flame sex but they obviously have been with other partners who who connect to them because they feel that sexual connection even though you know sex ain't great over there but you know they feel the twin flame connection with your person and want to keep them and control them over there right because they're not awoken fully so you are supposed to be then they like then they record that's how they recognize their version of paul so that's you if you're not at a point that you're seeing your person and i'm not saying obviously there's gaps there's delays la 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 but you're never seeing your person you're not working on yourself enough because this shouldn't be an issue if you think your person's just coming around shagging you and fucking off and going back to family that's your issue right that's your issue with oh well because of their if they if your person so loved the person over there they would never come over here i would never cheat on uh, david you see i don't care if they um brad pitt was naked over there and said come i'll be like uh, very nice I'm, I'm, I'm well flattered i'm well boosted thank you very much but i'm with mr d so that's your issue not theirs your issue what you lot do is come over here leave that person nope you have to think of why you think it's an issue that they're over there with that family or whatever that you know what that situation or not coming to your demands the underleaf is the wheel of fortune once again rise of the masculine as you can see on this card aquarius age right i was talking about this yesterday you see uh where is it one's taurus can i see it here i'm looking this way oh i can't tell anyway can you see tarot you get your wheel of fortune by you following tarot right whichever way you look at it this is spelt tarot and this is from the traditional deck of um the rider wake the wheel of fortune is about you rising up into your masculine look sword here right defending yourself going in your truth going for your wishes and your desires right he's up in the sky you connect him with as above so below right the wheel of fortune is connected with all the zodiacs we are all zodiac star signs obviously because as above so below it doesn't say as above to um taurus one planet one star no there's billions of planets and stars so is it as above so below we are all star signs you were simply born when that taurus uh, sign was out right for example this is understood the wheel of fortune is massive so obviously all cards that's why my pdf is taking so long to write because of obviously all the cards i've created in detail hence two years i'm creating another um i think four cards mythical deck we're having a break actually at the moment because it was deck after deck after deck which is two years just having a break then i'm creating the mythical deck i might create a soulmate a, a deck although these cards i've created is named tarot so you can use them on soulmates i was thinking about calling it twin flame and i thought no you can use these as soulmates as well and teach them all about this what i'm saying here is two soulmates as well not just you can change the story pacific for soulmates with the cards that's why i didn't i couldn't think of a bloody name i'm not about all names anyway so my point with this card is about you understanding tarot right is the story of your life the journey tarot is high priestess go within right going within is connecting with the ether ether the ether is the unknown the unknown is the full card the unknown is dark in the tree of life the root of this so if you get into the root of who you are by going within into your heart space when you tap within you go into your heart space and you get stillness which is the four sorts which is meditation really right so you go within you tap into your heart space and that is stillness which is connecting with the ether which will tell you what to do but you can't do that if you're of a negative hence my programs right and then you follow this wheel of life which is tarot which is the story of your life which will guide you onto the correct path you see this one ace of pentacles you see 
Twin Flames are here to teach people how to go down the correct path. It's blurry, but you know what it is, what it is. Right, so this is what the underneath root is the Wheel of Fortune. So this is happening. The center focus of this card is your person. This is uh, getting commitment with your person, right? Both of you here getting committed. But uh, I don't think you know this because <laughs> you've cut them off. Cut off the flame there, look. So let's see what he or she is thinking or feeling. Let's get one of these. This is this sexual energy. I tell you. <laughs> And it kind of pointed, look, onto the masculine air, to the, the to the sexual energy card. Your person connects with you because of the sex. If you're not having sex with your person, you have the issue. Absolutely, you have the issue. That's why Keisha is important with her mission pro. I think it's Keisha and Brittany. I'm not sure. I apologise if it's not Brittany in there. But I think it is. But I know Keisha started this programme where you um, you go in there sometimes I go in as well because the sexual group if, uh, if Keisha asked me and there was loads of you in there um, say she restarted I will go in that group because that's how important this sexual in energy it is so if you have s sexual abuse and, and and Keisha says I have like 10 in the group I'll say oh well done Keisha because she's wicked obviously and I'll go in the first group and uh, say hello I'm normally not I don't why I don't really engage is because I have to take her backstage to see an overall of what you're doing. If I'm all friendly and chit-chatty with you lot, then it's not that I wouldn't say it, but you'll be more offended if I say, Oi, you ain't working on yourself, right? My job is to get you abundant, Ace of Pentacles. Not to be your friend, though I like friends, right? Not to there, there, you, boo, boo, who, or whatever. It's to get you here, to be you successful. That's it, right? When you're at this point, then I can have a chit-chat, if you so choose. But you're too be, be too be busy in getting your pentacles. So this is understanding this about your person and sexual connection. I'm telling you, they will, if you just had sex with your person and you didn't say nothing, you just enjoyed it, your person will come pull towards you when you cut them off properly, because you're doing the work. Because they're the masculines. The masculines, their highest frequency is the sex, right? That's why most women have the sexual abuse because they reject their person. So it's like, well, no, you work on enjoying sex. That's why they're telling me to release the other sexual program. If you think that program I give you, the sex one was um, um, mm, fruity, uh, you haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> So that's this one. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new, uh, go to the playlist, check out all the playlist stuff or book me. I'm catching up slowly, slowly with my readings now. I'm well happy, but don't get too carried away because of it's not going to. Uh, I need to focus on um, getting out this PDF for these cards and then start on the, um, the health program. I've got to finish that before New Year. That's the plan. So, um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of, I'm catching up. No more delays. So I'm out. Speak to you later.